What's up guys and welcome back. We are going to get our Christmas tree today. Mitchell just went up in the attic again. Got down our stand. All by myself. You didn't do it all by yourself. I yeah, don't do. Mitchell was trying to give me a hard time earlier saying we weren't gonna get our Christmas tree today. You got tired watching football. Well no, I, I played golf this morning. Okay, but that's not my fault that you're tired. But we're gonna go get it right now. like right down the street from us. I was gonna us. say finally it took us 30 seconds. I don't know why I made it seem like it took us an hour to get here but there's some big trees here and some of them look like they're already sold so I hope we find our Christmas tree. We got Kaylee with us. <laughs> Hi. I've known Kaylee since I was in like diapers. She's one of my best friends. We call her Jelly K sometimes because she gets a little jealous. Okay, because your your little ruler thing or whatever it's called isn't good. What else? No, he just. What else would it tell? I found the one. I want this one. See, like that's an eight foot tree. That's not nine. That's eight foot, right? Well, they say it's nine, but it isn't. Mitchell says we need an eight foot, and this is a nine foot tree, and I think it'll fit in our house. All right, we're back at home. We gotta get this tree out. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to help me. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm not strong enough, babe. This thing is ginormous. All right, babe, you got your cheerleaders here. <laughs> yeah. Show us your gun. That's gonna be heavy with the stand. He's oh, got it. Yeah. Woo, Daddy Dolan. You're good. Watch out for the stand. <laughs> I was watching through here. I didn't see. Babe, you're so strong. You're so sexy. Look at you go. Look at those muscles. It's going through. All right, there's the water bowl right there, babe, so be careful. Okay, so our tree is in the house. I definitely wanted more of a skinny one this year instead of a fatter one. If you guys remember last year, we got a really fat one. But this year, I got a skinnier one because I didn't like how fat it was last year, even though it looked really pretty, but it was a little too fat. So I wanted more of like a skinnier, narrow one. So the tree is finally all set up. I put the skirt under it. I vacuumed around. Put a little fake present under the tree. Last year, when I had wrapped all my presents and put them under the tree, me and Mitchell left to go to dinner, I think. I forget where we went. My mom came home, or my mom came over to check on her and let her out and stuff, and when she came in, Brady had unwrapped every single present <laughs> oh, and got into them. She didn't, go, she didn't damage any presents, but she unwrapped them all and I had to rewrap them. This year, I cannot put any presents under the Christmas tree ahead of time, which kind of sucks. I went on Pinterest to see what I could do to like, Make it not look like bear under the tree. Cute like fake boxes that look like presents and then like a little lantern, like something like that up there that I could just stick like under there. And then they put like pillows and a blanket. I don't know, it's like a crate and a basket maybe. I don't know, they made it look so cute. So I might do that, we'll see, I don't know yet. But I'm obsessed with our Christmas tree. It looks so freaking good. It's literally the perfect size. And I love how narrow it is. I know I've already said that a million times. I'm not going to be decorating it tonight because I still want to let it fall a little bit. But I want to give you guys a little house tour because I'm pretty much done decorating for Christmas. We still have to just do the tree and then the outside lights. So I'll save that for another video. But I just want to give you guys a little tour of what it looks like inside right now. All right, so we'll start with the tree. Oh my God, I keep stepping on Brady's toys. We'll start with the tree area. I ended up getting a new little runner rug and I think it goes so well. Kind of like flows better with this rug right there. This is our fireplace area. We have two more hooks at the end for our roommates that live with us. This is our couch area. I just got this blanket and this cute little pillow that says, oh, what fun it is to ride. This is the little corner. 
It's the most wonderful time of the year. And this reindeer came from my grandma when I was little. She gifted it to me as like a little Christmas stuffed animal and I've had it ever since and I'm obsessed with it and Brady kind of likes it too. I have to put it up every time we leave the house or else she pulls it down from the couch and thinks it's hers. This is our entryway, I got like a little poinsettia, that's fake. But doesn't it look so good from this point of view? And then our dining room. Don't mind this stuff over here. It's, we need to give it back to other people that they accidentally left here. Isn't this runner so cute? I found it at Home Goods. And I found this at Home Goods, and it goes well because it's got like grays and blacks in it and whites. But uh, you know me and my obsession of furry like things. We got the two chairs over here with the little pillows, so cute. I'm eventually gonna get a table right here and put like something, maybe like a fake Christmas tree right there. This is the buffet table. Don't mind that, that needs to be hung up over here. And then the china cabinet. It's a little empty looking, but we have this. This is from my grandma. Mitchell's mom got me this. And then this is my little cheese board. This is probably one of the, my favorite things that I've bought so far. It's a champagne cooler. Pretty much I, I just like fill it with ice and then whenever I open a bottle of champagne, I just stick it in there to keep it cool. And I thought that's so cool. This is the first time I've showed you guys my dining room. I'm sorry that I kind of like revealed it this way. Doesn't it look amazing? I'm like obsessed with my dining room. You guys saw me searching for the china cabinet in the buffet table. So I totally look different from that last clip. It's because I got a call and you guys probably heard my phone ringing. So then I got distracted and I changed into PJs, my KK and Baby J shirt and took off my makeup and whatever. As I was saying, my dining room is bomb AF. If you guys don't like it, there's something wrong with you. This is our kitchen area. So I got our little coffee set up and I got these two little Christmas trees that are so freaking cute. Oh, don't mind Mitchell. He's just probably lost in Fortnite. These are from Target. And then I got this coffee mug holder because our coffee mug cabinet was getting a little crowded and I thought that it'd be cute to decorate this for like holidays. I've already drank out of the Christmas ones. These are my little towels. I got Santa's cookies, unfortunately. There's no cookies inside. My mom makes these German Christmas cookies every year so I'm just kind of waiting for that to uh, arrive at my house. But other than that, that's pretty much my Christmas decor. I just honestly bought a lot more stuff today, but I'm gonna return like about half of it because I didn't really like some of the things that I, well, I like them, but I just couldn't really find like the right spot for them in my house. Let me show you what our front door area looks like. Oh, it's getting a little chilly outside. But that's our doormat, a little Christmas. We got our wreath up here. And we got this little setup going on. I got this little Christmas tree at Home Goods, and that's a real poinsettia. And I think I'm gonna get one more and put it over there, and that'll be that. Obviously, when me and Mitchell put up Christmas lights. So most of you know you can't put poinsettias in the house. Well, you can, but if you have pets, poinsettias are very deadly to pets. So Brady likes to choose things sometimes, so that's why I can't put any points real poinsettias in the house, and that's why I have them outside by our front door in it still looks good oh yeah and if you guys have a bath and body works near you i have this candle apple garland it literally smells so freaking good and then i got the wall plugs in it i got the wall plugins for my house and my house literally smells like christmas on top of the christmas tree and it just smells so freaking good in here i hope you guys enjoyed my little christmas home tour decor <laughs> Stay tuned, I'm gonna be doing Vlogmas, like I said, so I'm gonna try and film every day, guys. It's gonna be a little hard. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that, and I will smell you later.